people. Um, now, there is a couple other things that um, Stephen Moore had issues with. You wrote another article called What is Space Time? Mm-hmm. Um, and in it, you say a year earlier, um, uh, talking about Einstein, a year earlier, he had formulated his general theory of relativity, which postulates that gravity is not a force that propagates through space, but a feature of space time itself. Um, again, I see that as the, the same misunderstanding as the snapping of the one thing. He It's the fact that um, you've said postulates that gravity is not a force. And I think that confuses him. Um, so could you just clarify that particular uh, phrase for me? So gravity is not a force. When one is trying to understand why gravity operates in, in, in the universe, why there is a tendency of objects to to attract one another, to orbit around one another, uh, which is a type of really comes from the attraction, uh, why bodies pull themselves together into, into, into spherical shapes, for example, or, or disks type shapes in, in, in other systems. Um, so why does that all happen? Then the, the idea of gravity as a force in the Newtonian sense of a kind of almost undefined entity that grabs things across space, that force concept becomes a problem when you're trying to understand why gravity works, the fact that gravity does work, you, you know, it's, it's obvious from, from everything, from everything around us. And when it describing, maybe I should put it this way, when describing the workings of gravity, you shouldn't use force concepts. When you describe the effects of gravity, yes, use force concepts. You're perfectly entitled to speak of gravity as a force when you're working through its implications, when you're working through why things fall, why things, move in the, in the way they do okay it's only when it's only when you start to get into the the deep questions and those are the ones of course i was doing dealing with in that in that particular article um and other articles i i i'm perfectly happy to describe and i do describe gravity as a force as i do describe electric electrical forces or or strong force or things like this even though in a different depending on context i might not use the force terminology uh, that that actually answers it very well is um, again, it's the the fact that you use the phrase um, which postulates that gravity is not a force that propagates through space time. He, yeah. he focuses on the, the words there that gravity is not a force and kind of ignores the rest of the context. So, yeah, I think, um, I have, think having, that's, yeah. that's fair. Have, having so you... gravity, gravity is not a force, but you can think of it as a force. Maybe yeah. that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, that, and that's kind of what I've tried to explain to him is that having so you... Gravity, gravity is not... A force, but you can think of it as a force. Maybe yeah. that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, that, and that's kind of what I've tried to explain to him is that having so you... Gravity, gravity is not a force, but you can think of it as a force. Maybe yeah. that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, that, and that's kind of what I've tried to explain to him is that having so you... Gravity, gravity is not a force, but you can think of it as a force. Maybe yeah. that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, that, and that's kind of what I've tried to explain to him is that having so you... Gravity, gravity is not... A force, but you can think of it as a force. Maybe yeah. that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, that, and that's kind of what I've tried to explain to him is that...